hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about how to select a radio button and how to verify the radio button is selected using playwright and python so basically we'll be using the pytest framework and along with that we'll be using Py playwright so let me open pycharm so i have created a test file in pytest so this is the uh, the template of our code you can easily generate it using playwright code gen and the URL I already have shown in my previous videos so you can watch those to know more about it so as of now this is the template which we'll be using now I'm going to this URL and let me open the URL or uh, it is not required to open but uh, let me show you uh, what it is look like and which radio button we'll be going to click right so um, okay so this is the volunteer shine up prom and is it's a and this <coughs> this I do not own this website so this is someone's Meher Paban okay so credit goes to that person and um, so I'm just using it for this demo purpose and uh, here I am going to click on this gender buttons okay so these are two radio buttons and we are going to click it so in my previous video if you uh, already viewed it so it is it was about checkbox selecting checkboxes right or checking the checkboxes it would be almost similar to that when we are going to select a radio button you can click on it also we can try that as well okay so let me show you how to do it using playwright so let me get the locator so it would be level so what I'm doing if you inspect it here is the input tag that I'm going to take it because that is the type of radio button and uh, now uh, uh, to make it dynamic so that I can pass a value male and female and it should work so for that what I can do um, I can take this level okay and here I can pass like text equals to male and next if I just hit slash and do the preceding siblings preceding no nope, sibling colon colon input so you get the input tag because this is the previous one and uh, let me take it and here go um, here I'm using page dot locator and the locator here dot uh, I have to use it to check it right so let's check it so here actually this check method works with both checkbox and radio button so you can use it for both the purpose so here I have checked it and now um, I have to let me give some weight as well to see whether it's getting checked or not and after that it would verify right so that is why we are using pytest assert uh, this locator right take it and dot is checked okay like in selenium we have is selected something like that so here we have is checked and I do not think there is any selected method available so that is the only one and it works both checkbox and radio button okay so it work with both the checkbox and radio button and uh, let me go to the next step so here it will return true because it is checked or selected okay and next what I'm going to do I am going to check the next checkbox that is female and then I am going to assert it also I'm going to give a pause of 300 milliseconds sorry 3000 milliseconds that is 3 seconds and here I'll be checking whether the previous one got 
unchecked that means not selected right so that should be not not checked okay so here after that I will give uh, one more wait and let's run it so pytest minus s minus v and uh, or minus s is fine and because we are not, where we are not printing anything so even minus s is also not required we can stop it so give the headed one that is will be browser will be open and now next I have to give the path so it's exist uh, under basics and then we have to give this test radio button yep this one and let me hit it let's see whether it's working or not mm -hmm. it's collected one items and it is opening the page and now it will try to click on it okay it is the same error which we got last time right for the checkbox so for that we have to I mean it will wait for 30 seconds and then it will close this pop-up so it's currently trying to click on it but it is not able to do it because of some overlap of an I mean there is a level and there is a input field input tag so between that level is getting overlapped on the top of the input so as you can see it got closed after waiting for some seconds or 30 seconds I think so it's printing the errors as well so waiting for the element to be visible in a balance table and here if you see uh, it's trying to return clicking attempt 58 times and it intercepts the pointer events okay so this is getting there first so this level tag this part so it is not able to click on the input field so for that what we can do the easiest way is like you have to give and force uh, option that is force equals to true that way you can do it very easily or another way is like we can construct uh, our locator in such a way so that it it clicked on the label tag so what I mean like here it should click on this label here not this one so you can create the locator in such a way so that it clicks on clicks here in that case you do not have to use this force equals to true so now let me run it and let's see whether it's working now or not So you can see mail got selected and now it un deselected it and then it selected male female right it passed that means it worked both the assertion passed okay I hope you got the understanding how to use this check and check uncheck method sorry not uncheck check and is checked method for selecting a radio button okay so Please like, share and subscribe and see you.